This is 18 News at 6. Taps could be heard across the Twin Tiers today as we remember those who fought for our freedom this Memorial Day. Good evening, I'm Jordan Arcus. Thank you for joining us for 18 News at 6. Across the Twin Tiers, people lined streets to see parades, visited cemeteries to pay their respects, and gathered to remember those who fought for our country. But what does Memorial Day really mean for the residents of the Twin Tiers? 18 News reporter Tara Lynch was in Millerton, Pennsylvania today to find out. <laughs> For the first time since 2019, a day of remembrance in Millerton, where the community gathered to celebrate and recognize the men and women in the armed forces. It's really um, fun to see because people all honor everyone and I'm excited. It has been a very tough year, but to see this entire crowd and this community out here for our parade that we didn't get to have last year that got canceled because of the coronavirus, it's awesome to be able to have everyone back out here. Now it has been a tough year with COVID-19, but the Millerton Memorial Day Parade is back. Let's take a quick look. You can see the beautiful banner behind me and just more than 70 entries today. What an amazing event. After a year break, um, the uh, COVID with all the scare and, and rightfully so, but it's nice to see people wanting to get out, enjoy fellowship and memory of our, our veterans and those who gave their lives for us. Thank you for coming out and showing our community that we are militant strong. We've got through the coronavirus and we're out here to honor those who have served and given the ultimate sacrifice. It's amazing. Like, I've been to a lot of parades in the area, but Millerton's truly is amazing. It's very long, a ton of people show up, and it, for such a small town, like we, we really knock it out of the park. <laughs> so I'm really proud to be from Millerton. While many were excited to be out in the community together after a long year, the meaning of the day was not lost. What it is, a, a land of the free, home of the brave, where we truly are for people. It's great to see everybody coming out and showing their appreciation today. My hat's off. Actually, it's the day for them. You know, we're the survivors, but the ones that did not make it back are the ones that we are memorializing today. A day to pay tribute and remember those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. In Millerton, Tara Lynch, 18 News. And today, the village of Elmira Heights partnered with the Elmira Heights American Legion to bring the Hometown Heroes Banner Program to the village. Orders are being taken for phase one of the program to start this Memorial Day through Veterans Day of 2024. The project will begin on the 14th Street Business District and expand to other streets as orders come in. The double-sided vinyl banners will include the hanging brackets for $200 with any size picture. Well, we always like to uh, honor our heroes on Memorial Day. Usually we have a big parade, but with the COVID situation this year, it was canceled early on. So we didn't have the parade, but we were able to get the uh, hometown hero banners ready and put up this week. So we thought today was a great day to be able to have a ceremony to honor the veterans and honor our, our heroes here in Elmira Heights with the banner program. For more information, visit MyTwinTears.com. The flag was lowered to half staff this morning at the Forest Lawn Memorial Park for the park's annual Memorial Day ceremony. The lowering of the flags was then followed by a 21 gun salute honoring those at the cemetery who fought for our country. Flags made their way down the streets of Elmira this morning as the Elmira Memorial Day Parade took place after being canceled last year due to the coronavirus pandemic. Everyone was required to wear masks and candy was not thrown out to the crowds. But while the parade looked a little different this year, parade organizers say we need to remember what Memorial Day is really about. Um, Memorial Day is here for our fallen people, those that gave the sacrifice and that parade it sort of makes that shine on, on that particular day. Now there were also some familiar faces at the Elmira Memorial Day Parade. Hey. 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 
Gunshots and taps filled the air during a Memorial Day parade in the village of Hammondsport. A ceremony was held with the Hammondsport Fire Department, local Boy Scouts, and residents all in attendance. Meanwhile, residents in Corning took a stroll through Centennial Park, where flags were placed across the park. Those at the park say they hope this annual display serves as a reminder to honor our brave men and women. It's probably one of the privileges of your life. There's a lot of young men and women died for this country, and we should appreciate their, what they've done for it. The flags were displayed throughout the long weekend. Now, each year, students from Dana Lyon Middle School place hundreds of flags at the Bath National Cemetery. This is an honor tradition going back years. According to the superintendent of the Bath Central School District, it's not only a privilege, but a teaching moment for these students. You know, the veterans are a huge part of our community here with the VA and strong support. And then to throw in the fact that we can make this an educational experience uh, in honoring our heroes that are planted here in a, and that are, you know, that are finalized here in this amazing cemetery. It's just absolutely breathtaking up there. Due to the pandemic, the fifth graders were not able to take part last year, but they got a second chance this year.